I will now bring to you this uh, program on the Kula expedition. I'm Susanne Kühling. I'm a German anthropologist who works in Canada at the university. And at the moment I am involved in this project to help bring Kula exchange into the next century, to make it interesting, to promote it so that the young generation understands that they should not lose Kula as an important practice of their lives. Our expedition now will visit all the important Kula places in the Milim Bay and discuss with the leaders what measures should be taken to help promote Kula for the future. We need more information, more data. We have to show why this is so important. And the most important thing of Kula are Bagi and Mwali. No anthropologist has ever collected information on these objects in any serious way. <laughs> That is the principles of Kula. Number one is to respect, right? Two, they have the attitude of sharing and loving. People are just giving without demanding for anything else and they'll be just giving out anything that is hidden from the family. It is for the family, but they have to give because that is the power of hospitality. <laughs> Na 
nige arasa wa manugu ta manugu ta manugu ta manugu ta manugu mai yeah this whole idea did not come from me i came back to dobu in 2009 basically to say hello and I brought lots of glass beads for the kula masters so that they can decorate the bagi and wali and then they said yeah you know it's hardly worth it because we are not teaching the young generation speedy now where you see many of the clan leaders have uh rejected the kula now we find difficulties in solving problems with our young new generation children our young people they are big headed ones because in the kula we believe there is love there is respect harmony you are to become a kula player you have to have this principles within your mind heart spirit and soul Right? but many at times we breach this uh principles laws of kula within our own you know kind of understanding the interest of kula is like going down huh? so that's why you made this trip to encourage people to keep kula you know tradition uh, a live or something like that. it's time yeah it's a live like the interest it's time for restoration now in our kula because of the dim dim culture is coming especially money or whatever so what i call it influence when yes. today's generation are influenced by foreign cultures mm -hmm. right they this taking them away some to the horizon uh, edagesi mani spoils the track of the kula because there, there is a track or there is a channel which is been set from the grandparents till up to this stage here we are working on this stage Nowadays if you go to Alotau you will see some huge mwalis hanging in the houses of the workers public servants who work for money not mwali and bagi but they possess those in their uh vicinity around in Alotau which is very bad what i see and what i reckon which is not very good because we sweat our guts to put those things baggies and mudies into our trek after all guy from alotau brought the money some bales of rice and flour bags of the mudi and what will we get nothing out of our a sweat so the authorities please make up your mind and look through that uh, system so we have to abolish that within the kularin see so, There is a mwari there Susan brought that it was sold at Gawa and through the internet she saw that mwari she went and bought it up she want to put it around again into the trek which is not very good which was sold at Gawa which is not supposed to be sold supposed to be coming around the trek rin so which is not very good i'm not very, very happy see that's the mwari there Baby, me, we do a meeting of certain Karaka, Karaka Livad. Kabumashir Gawa. Okay. Gawa. Yeah. Kabumashir Gawa. Kabu, Kabumashir Gawa. Kabumashir Gawa. Great. So, at the meeting, I can hold this up. Yes, you can hold it up and you can talk. Okay. Mm. Explain to them what the uh, cool is okay. going on like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Eruena get the mwali nina. Yalo bena internet sora naya. Take documentation ya go in wet. Mwa de ga be uni ya wa wa sai ni atu. Din din si en market. Get the tribal arts and nega. Tanada si sao si na wa na wa sai. Get there ya game one in naya 1000 US dollars and nega. That's a 3000 kina. 
Ya ke mwani naye e sisi mani gu ya nat gawa enega. Kabo mwasi la gawa. Simonu ruya ni. Mana I will book him in the fame of Kawa. So I get to get the shame of Kawa. How are you going to document all this uh, um, information on this uh, expedition that you will be? We take photographs, we ask about the story related to the object, the name, and what else we can find out about them. <laughs> So what's the name on this one? How do you know the name? Kabuaku. Kabuaku. Oh, that's the name there. Yeah, that's the name of this party. Kabuaku is a bed. Black and white, eh? Mm-hmm. If it sees the word black clouds for me, then it starts to cry. One of the really big Dagura. The old man just told me that rascals took it when it was a Mosby and cut some piece off. So it's one of those that every Kula player knows about, Greek, Greek. thinks about and dreams about. My one chance to hold it. I will never hold it again. We believe also that you are taking a, a filmmaker with you, is that right? My dear colleague from Germany who does ethnographic film is with me now to make various versions of films out of the footage that we are going to take. Yaru yaru adi wate Yeri suamu to shimana Uda boge di beshino Wate sida eeniti Taudi to botana niti Awadi sida ebali Beona maya wasini Emuye ga sidae wa Sidae wa ya tomotai Here the question which I'm trying to ask you is in regards to your mode of transport. Are you gonna uh, travel on a sailing canoe or...? We have been fortunate to get a very good deal by chartering MV Tiare and so we will have a trip and more luxury than I actually expected. We also have enough space to store, to store the, the groceries that we are bringing and so we can load and unload Kula players from the other islands. So with MVTR, I think we are really fortunate to have a great boat, and I think it's going to be the most comfortable way I ever traveled in these waters. When we are traveling in the sea, we have to save some water, we have to use the salt water, so we can save water. It's a very because, brave way yeah, of washing dishes. <laughs> because we are not on the land, we are on the sea. The clouds above there, little foam clouds like flames. This is a sign, a sign of a storm to come. It's 
also not unlikely that we actually get into a cyclone. It can also get, you know, worse, yeah? Yeah, I mean common sense anyway. Mm. So captain will know what to do, which is seek shelter, I suppose. sail out and find a shelter somewhere. It's uh, very hard to find a good shelter around, around here. Just made it uncomfortable. And the anchor wasn't wasn't the safest, so that's why we had to um it was coming this way alright, it would have blown us off the reef. But it was coming this way, it was blown us onto the reef. Yeah, yesterday night the wind came from south, east, and uh, it came from the west too. So the heavy rain that's where the heavy rain came. So it dragged our anchor out. And then Captain started the engine for us to move out and look for the good anchorage. But otherwise we are right, we are on the right track. Yeah, yeah. But our boys have to keep a good lookout. You see those uh, ribs uh, expression there? Well, go right around it. Oh, that's interesting that it's even noted like that here, no? Local magnetic anomaly. You must put some iron under. It's a magnetic field somewhere around. Yeah. Yeah. Around here. Because every time when we go when we go away, the magnetic compass always spins around. But it's only about only a small area only. When you go in there, they need to suck you in. So Even a boat or a canoe, you suck them in and they need to break them into pieces and they will float out. You can travel on this reef here, but not here. The, the, like a current, huh? when you travel on here, then the current will pull you in. Tamayo utili sinena Wate esa esa manugu Tamanugu 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 The only survey part here is, see, this line, and that line there. I believe you'll be carrying a good amount of uh, maybe food stuff on the vessel. What is this uh, food stuff? Is it for your ration while traveling or is it to give to the people or what is the arrangement here? Usually when you go on a cooler trip, they feed you. But we are aware that we are in a year of, of drought 
and that also um, it is the famine time in the yam growing cycle. So we do not want to burden our Kula partners with extra problems to feed as well. So we are bringing rice and some frozen chicken and hopefully we're going to catch a lot of fish so that they will be able to feed as well and we will not be straining their resources. When they come up to the village to cool out with their cooler partners, and as the ladies, our part is to cook food. We go to the garden, bring food, because there are some food which is special to us, like yams. For me, it is very important that every society, every community in the Kula region has a say in what my role as an anthropologist should be. I wish that everyone will support us, or if not, bring up ideas how we can improve our, our project as it is now, as we all make it. I take care of the outside world and build a large community of anthropologists in support. But it's the islanders themselves who have to help themselves within the societies. Thank you.
I'm doing it because I'm an anthropologist. I can't help it. 